What's up YouTube? As 2022 quickly comes to an end, so does the Sword and Shield era and I did want to make a video on the most expensive cards of 2022, so let's get right into it. <laughs> Got your eyes looking. I'll forgive you. We got a like, comment, sub. All right, y'all, let's get the show on the road with the top 10 most expensive Pokemon cards of 2022. Um, starting off with number 10, it's got to be, you know, it, it's got to be, it's going to be the Serena Full Art from Silver Tempest. So we did actually get lucky with this one uh, and we packed both of them. So we did get both from Silver Tempest. We got the regular one, shines like crazy. This is a beautiful card. I'm not a huge fan of the waifus. I know you weebs out there. You know who I'm talking about. You guys obsess over these cards. They're they're turning me into fans now. Um, I have always been a big fan of Cynthia. So Cynthia is the queen. She's the baddie. She's my favorite one. Um, so we did get both of them though. Getting off topic. We did pack the uh, rainbow rare and the ultra rare. The regular one. So that one comes in at, at $47.14. Shout out TCG player. Um, infinite TCG player .com for the top 10 website. Uh, thank you for that. And there, I believe there's an artist at the end. We'll credit him. But yeah, at number 10, we got that uh, Serena Full Art Trainer. Um, coming in at number 9, we have the Chunky Boy. We have the Pikachu VMAX. So this is from Lost Origin. It's coming in at right under it. So 50 bucks and 96 cents. Not bad. I mean, come on. How, how can you not like this card? It's a jumbo Pikachu. It looks like a, uh, one of those teddy bears from Valentine's the human life-size one. They're like this big. So that one's cool and um, red. So that's pretty. We actually packed that one as well. So really cool card from Lost Origin. I feel like this one might be a 10. Um, also crazy shine on it. Um, we did get lucky. This is when I first started collecting again. So I am definitely going to be grading this one, putting this one back in the sleeve because I do not trust myself. I am a klutz. My fiance and my family always cap on me because I hit everything. I crash against everything and I drop everything. But anyways, coming in at number eight, we have the Origin Form Dialga V. Um, this one is majestic, this card. I mean, look at it. It's in the sky, in the universe, I guess, with the moon. We got the multiple colors. Really, really cool card. This one's coming in at $56.02. So a lot of these cards, make sure you get them before they start rocketing up in price as Sword, is, Sword and Shield is coming to an end. So don't forget that. Um, next we have the partner, we have Palkia, the origin art, Palkia ultra alternate art. Um, this one's coming in at $51 and 34 cents. Um, I think the price may have changed. This one's a little, a little cheaper. Um, but nonetheless, it's a really cool card. Not my favorite of the bunch. Uh, still really, really, really nice. I haven't gotten either. So unfortunately we did get some of these. I still have two more to show you, but this one is also really nice. Next up, we have at number six, we have a the Rainbow uh, Rainbow Rare V Star Charizard from Brilliant Stars. Also, a super super sick card. I mean, this one reminds me of Apex Legends. From I don't know if you guys play that, but they have banners on that game, like a banner and title, an emblem. They have banners in some of the the calling cards. The, the banners they have the legends launching at you, like just 3D, you know, like all up in your face, kind of like this. So this is a really cool card as well. Um, Coming in at $84, so $84.07. Coming in at top five now. This one is really, really cool. I couldn't get my hands on it. Uh, Astro Ratings is hard to pack. We didn't pack anything, anything significant from that set, but it's the Machamp V, alternate, alternate art card. This one already gets up to the top uh, over 100, so this one's 115.80 cents. Really, really cool card. Just Macho Man lifting all the plates, showing off all the girls are going crazy on the side, so that one's pretty cool. Coming in at number four, my personal favorite, and I'm not just saying that because I have one, but also really, really cool card. I've talked about this one on the channel. It's the bird's eye, bird's eye view of the Aerodactyl flying over the Tropius, over the landscape, over the water, over the palm trees, volcano in the back. So it's like as if it's another Aerodactyl on top of that one looking down. So they're going crazy with these alternate art cards. It's no wonder they're super expensive and we didn't get lucky with one. <laughs> We got lucky with two though. So this is the first one. This one is gonna be a 10 I am presuming I can't really show because I don't want to take it out and damage it but this one the centering on it is Insane and then we also have a second that we pulled so 
Very, very cool card. I think this is going to be my favorite of the bunch of Sword and Shield. Look at that shine. This might be the thumbnail, you guys. Ah, alright, we'll see. So we did get two of those. We got lucky. It's from Lost Origin. The other Lost Origin, I'm sure you already guessed it. It's the number one spot. Um, but let's move on to number three. Number three is an alternate art Charizard fighting the freaking Venusaur across. This one's sick. This one is uh, reverse. It's going to be the one opposite of the promos. So one sec. So this one is basically going to be pre-fight of the promo card. So right before this fight happens, um, after I think Venusaur took this bout, I think Venusaur won it. But as you can see, he's in the back chilling. Charizard is sleeping. So I think Venusaur won the fight off. But that is um, the other version of that one. So really, really cool. That one's coming in at 183. I still see it at my local card shop every time I go. I always want to buy it, but it's expensive. So I, I need to get it, though. So that's another really good uh, purchase. The Lugia. Okay, for this one, don't get me wrong. It's a super sick card. Who doesn't like Lugia? But I think they could have done better with choosing the alternate art. Super cool. I'm, I might get hate out of this. I don't know, but I personally would have preferred the V art over this one. Let me let me show you which, what I mean. Okay, so this is what I mean. F for the V card, it's freaking launching. It's coming out of the water, and it just looks so much more ferocious. It looks crazy coming out of the water. So I think they should have done something maybe with this image and maybe added some other Pokemon floating around or the boat even floating around, but Lugia looking more immense and coming out of the water like in the, the movie 2000. But I mean, that's just me. So I mean, I'm not an artist. I'm a YouTuber, I guess now. A businessman turned YouTuber. So, but that's just my take on it. But this one whopping to 1308 for the year. It almost took number one with the last hit, Silver Tempest. But the one that took the number one spot, I mean, you can't hate, you can't. It's a Giratina full art from Lost Origin. 271.13 for this one crazy crazy price but i mean look at the card i kind of want to zoom in for this one but i'm not sure how to do it on here i don't i don't want to mess up the, the video the recording the screen recording um but nonetheless if you see this card in person or just the way it shines in the light you'll understand why it's number one the art on this is just insane the artist i'm not sure who it is i forget the name but oh man if you can pick this one up now, I would because I think this is going to be really valuable in the future. I think most, for the most part, most of the Sword and Shield era will be valuable in the future, just as we've as we've seen before, as I've talked about in the channel. Sealed product and just these sets are guaranteeing you a profit and value in the future. So, although the profit margin for for short term is is kind of tight and it's hard to make a lot of money off it, in the long term, we're seeing profit tenfold. So. Make sure you stock up on some of these. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I go by the name of Luis or Pokecon. I am a Southern California based Pokemon enthusiast and collector. And now I'm on YouTube sharing my journey, building a community with you guys. So if you do like the content, like and subscribe it means a lot to me, helps me out a lot. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a happy and safe new year and new year's Eve. Peace.